Coming up on this edition of the Kansas City Chiefs Report, we're going to talk about the idea of signing David Bakhtiari in NFL free agency as he's been named as a top free agent target by the folks at Last Word on Sports. We'll show you what they had to say, react to it, coming up in just a matter of moments. Also, the details are out on Noah Gray's new extension with the Chiefs. We'll tell you what it means for Kansas City and for Noah Gray coming up in just a matter of moments. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. It's not too early to get ready for Sunday's game against the Bungles. If you want to beat Cincinnati this week, like the video, don't jinx it, do your part for a Chiefs win this weekend. I want to see no less than 500 likes on today's video. Don't be the reason why the Chiefs lose because you didn't like the video. It worked last week against the Ravens. Let's do it again this week. Like the video, and we'll get started with today's show. David Bakhtiari, could he be on his way to Kansas City? The former All-Pro still remains available in NFL free agency to this point, and the folks at Last Word on Sports have named Kansas City as a top destination for the services of the free agent offensive tackle. Here's what they said. The Chiefs have the best interior offensive line in football, but their tackle situation remains a bit of a mess. Second round pick Kingsley earned the week one start but finished his NFL debut with a 48.9 PFF grade, the 57th best mark out of 63 eligible players. Kingsley may have a bright future in this league, but asking him to start right out of the gate might be asking too much. David Bakhtiari could provide starting caliber play at a smaller cost while Kingsley adjusts to NFL life. All right, so we're going to dive back into what they had to say. They had more to add to say in just a moment, but first, let me just say this. Kingsley needs time. Where I disagree with his notion from last word on sports is he's suggesting that you bring Bakhtiari in and already bench Kingsley. I'm not willing to go that far. I'm willing to bring in Bakhtiari, but I'm not doing it at the expense of benching the King after one damn game here. To me, we talk about overreactions. That's a bit of an overreaction, but I digress. More from last word on sports. Even when Kingsley is ready for NFL reps, the team could still use a free agent like David Bakhtiari. Right tackle Jawan Taylor had a rough first season in Kansas City, and his struggles continued in week one. While his contract ensures the team won't cut him in 2024, Kansas City could bench him if they find a better option. At his best, Bakhtiari was a far superior player and perhaps the Chiefs can catch lightning in a bottle. I'm not ca- I'm not benching Kingsley for Bakhtiari, but I would love to have Bakhtiari as a swing tackle option for depth if Kingsley doesn't figure it out, if Jawan Taylor doesn't develop into the player he's supposed to be and bounce back after the rough first season he had in Kansas City, then you have another option. Or if there's an injury. If Kingsley goes down, if Jawan Taylor goes down, then you're feeling really comfortable, or just as a rotational piece, whatever it may be, now all of a sudden I'm interested in bringing in Bakhtiari. But I'm not bringing him in with the guarantee that he's immediately replacing one of these guys in the offensive line. Bakhtiari's had a very good career, a two-time first-team All-Pro, a three-time Pro Bowler, but he's been injury-riddled as of late missing most of the 2023 campaign with a knee injury. And before that, he was just one of the best offensive linemen in all of football. The last season where he played the majority of games, you go back to 2022, in 11 games played, in 596 snaps, he had a pass block rate of 87.8, an overall grade of 79.8, and a run block rate of 68.5. And on top of that, he very well just might want to be a member of the Kansas City Chiefs. When you look at these free agents, you do have to ask yourself, do they want to be here? And based on what Bakhtiari said a while back on what he's looking for in his next team, he might be hinting at that he wants to be a member of the Kansas City Chiefs. He said the following, I am and love being a left tackle, but do I also want to win a Super Bowl? That's something that is really, really big, too. That's one of the big things that's kind of evaded me and has been extremely elusive to this point in my career. 
I don't hate the idea. If a guy wants to come in, compete, and try to win a Super Bowl, there's not a better place to do it than right here with the Kansas City Chiefs. So let's ask you, should the Chiefs sign David Bakhtiari? Two options here. Type S for sign, P for pass. Weigh in our pinned comment today. Let us know what you think. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Game Time, the place to go for the best seats, the lowest prices guaranteed. Whether you're looking for tickets to sporting events, concerts, theater productions, comedy shows, and more, Game Time's got you covered. Choose the event you want to go to. Maybe you want to go to this weekend's game against the Bengals. Then you choose your seat, see if you like that seat or not, and you're checking out with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, all major credit card providers. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching for thousands of tickets. They have their super deals. If you stumble about a super deal, you're not going to want to pass up on it, folks. And their seat deals, checking out what that that seat view is like, man, it's going to change your life. Your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code, C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it, Game Time? The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. I got the documents. The details are out on Noah Cray's new extension with the Kansas City Chiefs. If you recall, the news was released within minutes of the Chiefs opener with the Baltimore Ravens on Thursday night. And now we have an idea of what this means for Gray in Kansas City. Here's what you need to know. Like Harrison Butker and Creed Humphrey in their new deals, this new contract extension for Noah Gray supersedes Gray's final year of his rookie deal that he's on, giving him a raise while reducing his cap hit. So that opens up some more money for this for the Chiefs to do more things. Arrowhead Pride's John Dixon laid it out, saying the following. Gray's rookie deal was going to count $3.2 million against the cap in 2024, including a $3.1 million base salary and $78,000 from the prorated signing bonus of his rookie deal. The extension pays him $7.1 million in 2024. That comes in the form of $1.1 million base salary. $7.1 million. He can buy a nice house and buy mom one, too. The minimum for an NFL player with three credited seasons, plus a signing bonus of $6 million. But since that signing bonus can spread across four seasons at $1.5 million each year, his 2024 cap hit falls uh, from $550,000 to $2.6 million. So now, with that deal for Noah Gray, the Chiefs cap space currently sits at about $6 million. And I'll say this much, Gray deserves it. Gray has been a good fit for this Chiefs offense, for a guy that's a former first, first uh, fifth round pick out of Duke. I want to keep Noah Gray around. I have no reason uh, of why he should not be a part of this Chiefs team for the future. And we saw him play Pretty solid against the Baltimore Ravens last week as well. In 2023, he had career highs in receiving yards, touchdowns, and his average yards per reception. He also tied his career high in receptions uh, in a single season. So Noah Gray is trending the right direction at this point in his career. And if you look at his career stats, 66 catches, 677 yards, 10.3 yards, a reception of four touchdowns. I like what, what Gray is doing. Now, let's be clear. I've seen some of y'all in the comments section talk about Noah Gray and say, hey, this extension was about securing Travis Kelsey's replacement. Let's make that clear. Gray is never replacing Travis Kelsey. And that's okay. He is never going to be that guy. And that's fine. But he's shown that he's worth keeping around for depth at the position to be that number two tight end. In fact, he very well could get passed up on the depth chart by Jared Wiley because I think Jared Wiley's got that much potential and could be that good. But even with that said, I still want Noah Gray on my team. How would you grade the extension for Noah Gray? A, B, C, D, or F. Whip out your red pen and grade it for me in the comments section. Let us know what you think. 
for daily Chiefs coverage. There's only one place on the entire internet that is bringing you videos like we are here on the Chiefs Report, and that's this channel. you got to subscribe. We're going to be live for most games this season with our watch parties, doing our live shows during the week, daily news and rumors, Q&A mailbags, breaking news and more. If you're a real member of the Chiefs kingdom, you got to lock us in. Subscribe now for free, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. Subscribe now, never miss a moment. We got you covered here on this channel. So, now that you have this done with Noah Gray, what is next for the Kansas City Chiefs? I expect the Chiefs will extend a few more players and keep some money in their back pocket for a couple potential moves, whether it's signing a guy like Bakhtiari, for example, or if it's another free agent they'd like, maybe there's an injury that pops up, maybe it's a potential trade at the trade deadline, You extend these guys, move around some money, and you give yourself some flexibility. So, you look at the Chiefs' weaknesses right now of where they could potentially be shopping. Corner is certainly a possibility. Interior of the defensive line. Safety, looking for some depth there. The offensive tackle position, we talked about that quite a bit at the top of the show. And then the wide receiver position. I think the wide receiver position is better than what people give them credit for. But that doesn't mean that the Chiefs uh, are satisfied with what they have, that they won't continue to look at other options as far as that goes. The extension candidates, next up, I think, is offensive guard Trey Smith and linebacker Nick Bolton. I think both those guys are going to get paid and get their long-term money next to stick around in Kansas City for the foreseeable future. Which one will get paid next, we'll see. I lean towards Nick Bolton, but I don't have a whole lot of confidence in that. If you had to pick one to extend, who would it be? Would you go Trey Smith or would you go Nick Bolton? Type TS for Trey Smith. Type NB for Nick Bolton. Weigh in and let us know. If you enjoyed today's show, you want to beat the Bungles, like the video. We certainly appreciate it. I'm Tyler Jones. We'll see you next time.